a look. You have to allow a lot of the time to get your paperwork in order. You do have to show proof of vaccination. That could be from any WHO approved vaccine. You also have to show uh, a negative COVID test that was taken within three days of travel. Of course, there are some exceptions for kids, obviously, who can't get vaccinated. They need to be tested within one day of travel. Uh, and when you come here, you also have to provide contract tracing information, so your contact details, where you'll be. But the good news is you won't have to quarantine. So while there are these new rules that replace the ban, uh, they are meant to at least hopefully make sure that international travel doesn't have to stop again in the future, particularly when we see these rising COVID cases in Europe. You know, I spoke with the CEO of British Airways, Sean Doyle, and he says now that there is this pragmatic plan in place as they see it to ensure the safety of travel, they hope that that won't uh, really ever change, that they won't have to go back to a situation of banning international visitors again in the future. And there, I was listing the countries that are affected from which people can now 